Pearl Tutorial Part 115 Regular Expressions Quantifiers Quantifiers are a little bit like wild cards. They allow us to match a pattern a specific number of times. So let's create a while loop using standard in. Okay, so let's first create a word boundary and in between our word boundaries let's match any character with the dot and we can say we want exactly five characters with the quantifier 5 between the curly brackets. So unless we type exactly 5 characters, they can be any character because of the dot, we will not exit. So let's run this. So let's type 1, 2, 3, 4 characters we haven't exited. One, two, three, four, five, six characters. No. Let's type five characters. A, B, C, D, E. And we've exited the program. Okay, so let's copy this down. And comment out. Okay, so the next quantifier will allow us to match at least five times and we put the comma in there. So we must type at least five characters before we exit. So we can type any number of characters greater than five to exit the program. Four, no, five or more. We've exited the program. Okay, so let's copy this down. The next quantifier allows us to set a minimum and maximum amount of matches by putting a second number after the comma. So we can exit the program only by ty typing five, six or seven characters. So let's run this. So one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, one, two, three, four, five, six all seven and we exit the program. Okay so let's copy this down the next quantifier matches one or more times and this has been seen before, the plus. So one or more characters will exit the program. So if I don't type anything and press enter, we're not going to exit the program. So until I type one or more characters, we don't exit. So we've exited. So let's copy this. So the next quantifier the 
the star will match zero or more times. So there, I've just typed in nothing and we've exited the program or more times and we've exited the program. Okay, so let's copy this down for the final quantifier. which is the question mark which matches one or zero times so we type in nothing we exit the program okay so let's comment this out and I'd like to create a little example. So by default quantifiers are greedy which means they try to match the most characters they can depending on where the current search position starts and what the actual expression is. Okay so let's create a string I like to eat licorice. Yum. Okay, so we will print our string. Now let's create a regular expression demonstrating quantifier greediness. So what I would like to do is change the word like to the word love. So the word like begins with L and ends with E. So let's type in L and E first of all. Now we want to match any character zero or more times and we want to change the word like to love so we're going to look for a word that begins with L and ends with E and has any amount of characters in between the L and E and exchange it for love Okay, so when we run this, this will demonstrate the quantifier greediness. So let's run this. And we get I love yum. Okay, so what it does is it's actually matched from the L and E. And it's also found another word that begins with L and ends with E. So it's totally matched like to eat licorice with the word love. So that's why we get I love yum. Now to make our quantifier less greedy, you put a question mark after the quantifier. And any of the quantifiers we've used above can have the question mark after it. If it's one of the quantifiers between the curly brackets, then the question mark goes after the curly brackets. So this will make our quantifier less greedy. So this will match the minimum amount of times possible. So there's two possible times. And we now get, I love to eat licorice, yum. So that's some information about quantifiers.